What's up, everybody? Eugene Man, Man Roberts here, and you're now tuning into another episode of Town Hall Meeting with the Mayor. So, you know, this whole show has been amazing because I've been able to meet cool people and learn about some amazing people. And every now and then, you get like this person or like a people that are just really, honestly, pretty much all the time that people are just multi talented. So, give it up for my homeboy. He's a producer, he's now an artist, he's everything. Give it up for my homeboy first. Talk to him. What's up, what's up, everybody? Told y'all we're gonna bring nothing but the best. What's up? My man right here, first one of the dopest artists out. Um, listen, all I gotta say is he's got some information. He got some new things. We're gonna talk about the new videos, the new tunes, the new everything he's working on. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? Man, I'm good, man. I'm quarantining, you know what I mean? I'm keeping my six feet. I just been playing the guitar, writing music, making beats, everything, all together, man. Six Same feet time. and six strings, huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> For real. Yes, sir. Man, so like, what's going on right now? What are you working on? Like, what, what do you want the people to know? What are we doing? Man, during the quarantine, uh, me and my friend from Kenya, an African artist, uh, she makes Afrobeat music. Mm -hmm. And um, we decided to release a project. So we've been working on it for the past like two months or so, back and forth. She was in, she was here, then she went back to Kenya. Right. And of course she got stuck there. So we just we just started we were working on music, finishing music up. And one of the songs was called Shutdown. And we were like, uh -huh. everything is shut down right now. So let's man, let's drop yeah. this project. So we and we had and we had a video shot to it. So we just started off by dropping the project. So it's like a fusion of Atlanta and Afrobeat fused together. Like I'm, I'm Liberian. Yeah, I'm African. Like the real definition of world music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm combining them. So I mean it still hits like you want it if 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 you like that hard sound, but it yeah. still has some traditional, traditional um African flavor in it, you know. So yeah, that's what I've been on, and just ready to release new music, man. I'm thinking about just releasing songs during the quarantine, like yeah. Well, I mean, people like, are right when I make it right now. Probably, yeah. yeah, I think it's like the blessing and curse of the internet. Some people can oversaturate it, and then some people can like treat it right, you know. But right. by the end of the day, we know somebody has a phone in their hand. We know they're they're waiting, especially like music lovers. Like some people, I see people dropping a lot of music, and still people are like, "Drop more music, drop no. more music." <laughs> like it's like, how? Listen, I, I, you got everything, you know. Right, right. Um, man, so outside of playing the guitar, like, have you um, started studying anything else, or or look or reading anything specific, or? Man, really. It's just been laser focus in the studio. Like I'm still making sure I'm I'm having fun. I'm not just in there like oh, I have yeah, to make yeah, something. Yeah. I gotta make something. But just natural. Like I got the everything plugged up, all ready to go. Mm -hmm. I might pick up pick up the guitar and sing. Man, here, here go my song called "Quarantine Sucks." I oh, just here we go. It. Here we go. I just wrote it right now, exclusive. Exclusive. Right. We got an exclusive, y'all. Ready. Quarantine sucks. Quarantine sucks. <laughs> quarantine sucks. Make sure y'all look out for that new music. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. So, um, how's it been an artist and just just the way the um, industry is going? And just like I know you've been in it for a while on different you know angles of it. So. Yeah. How, how, what's your take on it and just how you feel the approach to it? Um, I just have this thing going like, I just want to be as original as possible, even though it's like there's so much music out, somebody's always going to compare something. Mm -hmm. But I just always feel like you just got to make like incredible fusions. Like everybody mm -hmm. should try their hardest. It's just like fuse different parts, different pieces of music together and just try to make something amazing. I always just try to do that. Like, yeah, at all times. Whether I think, I think that's what's good about the, the core, with people being home right now. I think that's kind of cool because it's forcing people to collaborate with other people. Right, 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 right. Um, whether you know you're collaborating <laughs> with that person or not, because somebody may have just randomly sent your file, but, right, right. you know, like, I think it's kind of cool. I've been seeing a lot of uh, those, like, Square videos with different people performances. Oh yeah, those are dope, bro. I saw something with some producers 
like one producer started a beat and then they uh -huh. passed it on to some other dudes. That was yeah. hard. Yeah, was I saw hard. um they did a DJ one like that, you know, like one of those don't rush type challenges, um, a DJ. Um I think Shaq started it, I wanna say, and had like DJ active and a bunch of other DJs do it. Like with those videos with like like you said, a series of producers all doing like that one thing together. What oh, who, I want people you would wanna see do that. Um even if even if even if it makes no sense, but you're just like, listen. In my head, this makes sense. Um, I would want to see, I would want to see Pharrell start one, and then like he hit me up and like, yo, first ask something. So then I ask something, mm -hmm. and then Zay Tovin will ask something, mm -hmm. and then um, who else? Shit, Mike Dean can ask something. He can mm -hmm. do a whole outro on that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and who else? Shit, I might send it to Sunny Digital. Shit, I might send it to Post. Post makes beats too. I might send it to him. Bam. Amazing. I think it's so amazing the amount of artists that actually produce. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of artists. A lot of artists are out here that can produce, man. I think it's more of a more recent thing, though, in the in the last, you know, maybe 10 years, maybe. Yeah. I, I would definitely say there's an increase in it. Like, I think as, as it got easier with technology i think that's where people started realizing because i mean just as many producers turned out to be just as many djs <laughs> like every oh yeah, yeah, yeah. there's <laughs> definitely a lot of djs like what's crazy yeah i like what's crazy i got the ability to dj mm -hmm. and like i love it but i respect i respect the crap too much for me to like to say i'm a dj because like yeah 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 I can make you dance. I can make you party, but I'm not yeah, gonna call myself yeah, a DJ. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fully do that because, like, the, that whole job and that whole thing is. It's not. It's not. It's not as easy as it looks. You know what I mean? To be an amazing and to be a good DJ. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah. There's definitely been a, uh, an increase in in that. <laughs> like, reason just in the past year. Yeah. So. Me in learning Serato, I was just like, okay. You start playing through records, and you be like, "It's only twenty. It only been twenty five minutes. I gotta let these songs play longer." <laughs> I, and, and you know, DJs be knowing so many records, like they could just go and go yeah, and man. go. And it's just like you start realizing my iTunes is not as great as I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I had seen it. I, I'm not even gonna say my iTunes ain't great, but it's just like I remember DJing sometimes because, like, I was coming. I was coming in as like. Like how how Diplo and some of these guys are like for DJing at the Mad Decent Block parties and shit. How there's mm -hmm. a crowd and there's like a time set. Yeah, man, that's so much different than going into the club. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. So much different than going to the club though. But yeah, I respect that. That's what I'm basically trying to say. I I respect those guys who do that like all every night in and out different clubs, everything. Mm -hmm. And they need it too. Playlist. Salute. <laughs> uh, uh, a track, A track just put out a, a, I think it was like a seventy-five minute video of songs that all had a cowbell in them. That's what that was. It was crazy. I scrolled before he posted posted that he had he it's, it was like a more cowbell or something. I didn't know what it yeah, was. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Was. That's crazy. It is like, like you know, you know a lot of music if you can think of seventy-five right. minutes worth of DJ songs. Right, right. That is cowbell, man. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so all I know is I'm waiting to see this video. I got to check this video out. And um, the VR, how are you, how are you dealing, dealing with some VR stuff? And some, you Yo, know? I just, yeah, I just started, um, I just started messing around with the, with the VR or whatever. And um, the PS4 VR. Uh -huh. That shit is dope, bro. I knew, like, I I tested it one time. My friend had it. Somebody had it, but nah, I actually got lost the other day. Like, I was, I was, I was gone, bro. I was in London. They, I was really? in London in the shootout. Like, it was insane, bro. Have, like, have you seen those? Um, I was sweating and everything. I think it was on Fortnite. Those concerts. Have you heard about that? Yeah, I heard, I, I didn't see it, but I heard Travis. Travis Scott had a concert? Yeah, Travis Scott. Like, my son like, was like, was it was like, yeah, it was like midnight. My son was like, I was like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm about to watch the Travis Scott concert. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, it's in the game. I'm like, huh? I was like, you know what? Let me see what he's talking about. And it was literally like a virtual concert. like, And it was just like this whole thing. Like, it was just 3D. It was yeah, bro. I don't, yeah, we might not be going outside again, like. 
<laughs> I mean, bro, I got. I was thinking like, bro, I got a feeling they're just gonna like make everything in the grocery stores like, like them um, antibacterial thing. Like you know, at the airport had a water fountain. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It says yeah. it's like it's germ free or whatever. Uh-huh. Just because of what it's made of, they're gonna do that. We're gonna be able to go to the grocery store. We're gonna be able to do stuff like that. Go to the store to get something we need. But I don't think it's gonna be big concerts ever again. Or they, or they gonna treat us like the gas stations when they close at night and you gotta point through the window. Hey, can you get that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> or is it gonna be fully on Amazon or, or fully? Yeah, I went to the I went to the grocery store the other day and I was literally stressed out. Yeah, that's wild. that's wild. I was like literally stressed out because I'm walking and I'm just like, all right, this is what we this is what we're dealing with right now. Like, unfortunately, but yeah, man. You know, anyway, more music, more mm-hmm. more creativity, man. I think this is a good time for people. I was I've been talking a lot about relationships and that people should take this time to build relationships, rekindle relationships, and 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 hone in on those things because that that's the only way people can really grow throughout any any of these things going on in life Mm -hmm. um how do you feel about like just relationships in the industry and just the importance of um oh wait that's everything relationships relationships in the industry and people you know people you just meet like you never know what's gonna what's gonna happen to a person you just meet they might they might just be this person right now but two a year from now a couple months, two years from now, they could be either the biggest artist, biggest exec, mm-hmm. exec, biggest video director, biggest anything. anything. You just, just never know. You like never know. Yeah. Like you, you never know. Like I yeah, remember. I think that up, that might happen. I think that happens often to people where you know they meet somebody, they get their card, and it's like, hey, make sure we stay in contact, and you don't stay in contact. Next thing you know, they're like the person that you really needed in your life. <laughs> to make something happen for you like and you right. had their card like all you had to do was reach out like hey Literally. nice to meet you like nope. yeah i think just just in the industry period like not even just in the music industry just in the world i think people only succeed or don't succeed based upon their relationships and whether they cherish them or whether they build them right so. right man that's yeah that's that's so real that's that's so real the relationship yeah, that's, that's relationship, what my thing people been asking me like hey what can you tell people i'm like man relationships 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 like yeah. that's all i can stress man yeah my my, my child like my childhood friends are like are like helping run one of the biggest labels right now man like Crazy. those renaissance they're going like they uh man is like uh uh black with the six um yeah, yeah, yeah. walker mm-hmm. drum and like they handle all yeah those are like my childhood friends so it's like crazy yeah. that is and that's just one relationship that's close yeah, so yeah think about the ones of the people you just meet randomly that you don't yeah, exactly randomly. So yeah, man, share stuff. Especially, especially the world we live in, like anything can happen. Anybody can do anything. anything. Literally. Like literally. Beyond your wildest dreams. Some things you just don't even want to address. But you know what I'm saying? Some people can literally be what they want to be, and you just never know it. You yep. just, hey man, I was just the quiet kid in the back of the class. I didn't yep. know he was gonna be that, you know. So many of those stories from Rich the Kid. I've known Rich the Kid forever, bro. Like the, I remember the days he was just trying to finesse and get into the studio. Like, man, what's up? How can we work? Right. So he worked with Kendrick Lamar, every mm-hmm. like everybody. Like, that's just one instance. Uh B Weezy. Uh oh, I mean Weezy. Who Weezy out of here. Mm-hmm. He just used to be in the in the back of the studio during Young Thug sessions, during TI sessions, Gucci Man, anybody like, just back there, like, I got beats, whatever. Anybody wanna work? I'm down. I'm about. I'm ready or whatever. Sure enough, his time came. He's going crazy. So salute yeah. him. I love. I love seeing stuff like that. Yeah, that's. Dope. And that relationship is there, man. We've definitely collabed since yeah. then. So. Yeah. yeah, that's super dope. But man, we can honestly talk for a very long time. I, I know yeah. that, and we're not about to do that, y'all. We might have a part two. We might come back. We might do a rolling at home collaboration. We'll figure something out. But before we get out of here, first, thank you for coming on, talking to the people. Um, introduce this amazing 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 song like come on let the people know what's up well this is a song i just released with the artist named victoria kamani afro b artist and the song is called talk to me and it's featuring 
Michael Blackson. Not on the song, he's in the video. So y'all check it out, man. The, the project is called Africa. It just came out a couple of days ago. It's on all your favorite um, music provider things. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Africa. And here's the video, talk to me. Talk to me, we out. say multi-talented he's amazing um as you can see we built an amazing brotherhood just through conversation and so many similarities just us growing up in music and just in this world just as people so um shout out to my homeboy first again shout out to roland shout out to igor and Kristen and nelly and brian and most special shout out to my homeboy joe who always is editing and cutting out my little parts make sure i'm sounding good make sure we looking good so shout out to joe once again um well shout out to roland and eugene man man robert AKA the mayor and I am out of here. Till the next time, people. <clears throat>